In this video, I'm gonna be making all my DC connections now for my grow watt. I've already done the AC output. I'm gonna change this up a little bit in the future. Uh, I've got like a really cool monitoring device that's gonna show me what's going on on the output, as well as my generator input with a breaker. Now for my DC inputs, I've already gone ahead and made up all the cables that I need. What I'm gonna be using is just fell on the ground. What I'm gonna be using is I have a couple of buzz bars like this. This one's black, the other one I have is red. And this is gonna protect my buzz bar. And I'm gonna have multiple battery connections here, as well as my cable running up to my grow watt. So I've already mounted the screen for my shunt. So now I'm just gonna mount my two buzz bars and then my shunt monitoring device and my main disconnect for the inverter. So this is gonna be my main disconnect. This is gonna get mounted and I can turn my power on or off for my batteries. And this is my shunt. I've already gone ahead. I had some extra buzz bars from my raw lithium cells. I always ask the sellers to send me extra bus bars. So here I'm just got three of them together. So this is gonna be coming off from my main negative. And this is gonna allow me, now all my batteries typically have smart shunts, smart BMSs built into them, and I can monitor the individual batteries. But this is gonna allow me to monitor all the batteries across the whole entire system. So to mount this up, I'm gonna dry fit my two cables here into the grow watt. Now I'm gonna start with my positive connection. This might be a little bit tricky, but all it is is you have two connections here and you have a serrated nut that goes on to hold it all together. Now temporarily, um, I don't have long enough screws. Longest screws I have are these three inch uh, wood screws to mount this. This has got to go right through comes out the back. Now, I don't think this is gonna be long enough to hit the plywood I put behind the drywall. So I'm gonna to have to get these longer, but temporarily I'm gonna hook this up and I'll swap them out later. Okay, so that's my positive hooked up. So I've got my on off, my buzz bar, and next, I'm gonna run my negative wires down. So for my negative wire, it's gonna be a little bit more tricky. So for my negative wires, you can see this shunt is too big and it's gonna press up against the top here. So I put these buzz bars and that's gonna get me off of the buzz bar. And then now, this is just like a little mounting plate for the uh, 200, I believe this is, oh, 500 amp shunt. I'll never hit 500, but I think it was 100, 200, and then 500, something like that. I couldn't get a 300. So what I want to do is I'm going to have that in there, that behind, and then my washer and my bolt. And that looks pretty straight there. And now I'm going to mount this up the same way I did the positive. All right, now I'm gonna secure these cables here so that they can't get yanked out and then tighten everything up and add in my shunt monitoring device and I should be good to go. Okay, I think I'm gonna put one more clip here just cause this is a longer run. Okay, I've got my positive and negative uh, run here. I left a bit of slack too on these wires just for expansion and contraction. Next, uh, let's hook up for my shunt and then we'll hook up the battery and we'll see if it works. So this is the control unit for the shunt. That's gonna plug in here and then I need to run an extra positive cable over to this buzz bar to give it power. So this is gonna be the in I think maybe something like that would be perfect. Now 
Now for the cable for the monitoring of the screen, it comes through this little like phone cord looking jack, which comes out the side of here. And I'm gonna have to run it in through the wall and then I have it connected up into the back. So for that, I bought these little, little kind of silicone rubbery things here. So this will just kind of cap off nicely where it runs through the wall. And uh, yeah, it'll just be a little nice added touch. So I wanna make sure I check the manual here to see where it comes out. So we have four and five, and five, which is the lower one, is for the display interface. Okay, perfect, so I gotta drill for the lower one. Okay, so I got my cord running through the back. I'm just gonna go from this side. And pop that in the hole. That's not bad, that looks pretty good. <laughs> that looks pretty good, I like it. Okay, so I've got my screen. It's connected. Now I need to run a positive wire from here over to the buzz bar. Okay, I'm almost at the finish line. I'm gonna find a better way to run this positive wire over for the shunt. Uh, this is just gonna be temporary for now. These clips aren't working out the way I'd hoped they would. So I'll come up with a better design for that. So next I'm gonna hook up my battery cable, which is gonna have an Anderson connector on the end, uh, which is this guy right here. This is gonna be running to my uh, battery toolbox build that you guys have watched before. So I just have my positives and negatives. So I'm gonna wanna run this to the buzz bar, or to the slot that's right next to the cable that's going out to the battery. Okay, and now I can tighten everything up. Okay, now these uh, have covers. The uh, covers have these little knockouts. I've already knocked this one out front and back. And as you can see, these just get pulled right out. Okay, now uh, I can plug this into my battery and we'll turn this on and we'll see what happens. Ooh yeah. So now I have a pre-charged capacitor on my battery. I'll pull it out to show you. Can you see that on the camera? A little bit more. I'm not sure if the camera's quite picking it up but I leave this off. This I'm gonna turn on. You might see the screen light up when I hit this button. But right now I'm pre-charging. Oh, inverter's actually on. So I wanna turn that off. Pre-charge the capacitors. And then I'm gonna turn this on. Wow, that is really nice. I like this screen is really nice. I'll bring you in closer in a minute. Uh, let's see if I can get on the app as well. Lights go, oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm on the app. Ah, <laughs> sweet. So I've got the app, but I've also got the screen if I don't want to pull my phone out. This battery monitor system here, I it's awesome, I love it. What can I show, okay, let's turn the load on. So there you go, right now, I'm using 10.5 watts, just went down. So you can see here, it just went up. So I've got almost 60 watts standby consumption for this grow watt. Okay, we can turn the lights on here. Awesome, so there you go, that's the uh, DC hookup. So I've got my shunt here, I've got both my buzz bars, uh, I got a main on off for the grow watt, and I've got a monitoring screen here. So that's it, that's the DC hookup. Uh, next I'm gonna be doing the AC input, and then I'm also gonna have a special connection uh, disconnect here on the panel for my uh, PV inputs. So yeah, that's, uh, that's it, that worked out great. Uh, thanks for watching, uh, catch you on the next one.